And it's time, it's time. All right, let's shut the door. Hey, shut that door. Come on, do it, do it, do it with me. Do it with me. Ooh, with me, don't do it. Don't be so mean, with me. All right, hey, every time Charlie gets in here, I put him on these stress tests. That's what I call it. Let me tell you why that's important. Whenever you're in a stressful situation, your mind starts to shrink. Your creativity, the way you communicate it, it just goes, it just really starts to contract to where, hey Travis, thank you for coming by today. Whenever you're put in these stressful situations, you can't think, you can't sell until you get yourself ready, used to the live ammunition. So what I do is I bring this new guy in here and we teach him how to sell. See, the one thing that I hate about real estate agents is they don't know how to sell. They get on there, they build relationships. We're going through boot camp training over here where I'm going to help Charlie. Charlie, are you ready? Here's I'm what ready. we do. I teach them to overcome objections. You always listen. You acknowledge. It's how they feel. It's how, so you've got to find some way to agree with them. And then you've got to, lastly, start isolating. Hey, Stormy, how you doing, friend? Hey, we're just doing a little boot camp. Hey, Charlie, who are you calling first? Don't say the name because we're going to protect the innocent, okay? So you got to do this stuff every day. I mean, it's amazing how quickly you'll forget these little steps and how to sell. Hey, everybody, thank you for getting on here on this rainy day. But it ain't stopping us from the GTT headquarters on how to get your sales game right. How many of you people on here sell something? Everybody on here sells something. You may not know it, but you sell. You're selling your, your wife, your husband, your friends. Life ain't just about getting money. A lot of times your commission may come in other forms. So Charlie right now, I got him. I got him. He's about to call somebody. You think they'll answer with the man? I'm going to grade him. And see, see, right now he hears me talking in the background. He hears that person on the other line. He's freaking out right now. This is Charlie with John Real Estate. I apologize. I'm sure I'm catching you off guard by giving you a call. But you purpose of my college, you've recently been on one of our online search sites looking at homes and wanted to reach out to you and see uh, if you possibly may be purchasing a house in the, the next, next 12 months. months. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Sure. What's a good... Oh, no. I'm sorry for bothering you. What's an email address where I could send you some information? I'm listening. He's listening to me listen to him. It's very uncomfortable. It sucks. I tell you what, I will shoot you an email right now. I appreciate it, okay? Hey, you have a great day. Thanks. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Here's what happened wrong right there, Charlie. Hey, you happened? got nice guy. Nice, hey, nice guy. guy. Oh, man, just send me an email and you, you took that bait. I guess he's going to go with somebody just like me. She ain't going to talk to you again. She ain't going to talk email. to you again. So what could we have done to, what could you have asked her? Did she answer your question? She did. Did she look for a house? She said, I am. She said, I'm sitting in a meeting at work. I can't talk right now. Okay, so we do have somebody that might be looking to buy a house. Correct. Okay, so I like you got on there. See, here's what I trained him to do. He gets on there and he asks for the person. Come on, y'all. Y'all talk. Let's go now. Okay, oh. so you call, you ask for the person. That was the person. Then we don't like to come in there and say, how you doing? I hate that shit. Nobody wants to hear how you, they don't want to hear that. What they immediately want to know is why you're calling them. So what he does is he, he kind of helps lower their guard by saying, hey, I'm sure I caught you off guard. I'm sure you weren't expecting me to call you at, what time is it? You weren't expecting this phone call at 323. So the purpose of my call is you recently signed up on one of our home searches. You got on there giving us information. I'm just calling to ask you this. Are you considering, I'm putting the safe word in there, are you considering buying a house in the next 12 months? And she said, she said, yes, nice guy. And I'm going to nice guy myself on but, this phone. Well, she said, hey, I'm at a meeting right now. Could you email me some property? Now, hey, let me tell you something. The what way I would do it, 
Yes, I'll jump right on that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And that's fine. At least Charlie's in here banging out phone calls. Because I'm going to tell you what, it sucks to call up people that don't know you, that don't know your call. And so here's what you've got. How many people on here get called by somebody and you're immediately like, i got to go. It's a bad time. And I'm sitting here doing nothing. But I, 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 I'm i trying to get them off the phone. That's what they're trying to do to a cousin Charlie over there, who's like the nicest person in the whole wide world. So it well, all comes down to... It Let's comes. What? I'm gonna ask you. All right. Hey, yeah, I'm looking at 12 months, but hey, I'm in a meeting right now. Can you send me some over on the email? Yes, Stephen. Hey, I understand you're in a meeting right now, but if you weren't in a meeting, would you be willing to talk to me about this? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, well, may I? Then I would move forward. I want to validate. Okay, I got you. So you 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 listen, and I'm throwing this stuff at Charlie so fast. He probably walks in here miserable. He don't know when it's coming. He doesn't know when it's coming, do you? Some some days it happens, some days it doesn't. But when you come work over here, we're going to push your mind to where you're absorbing information. And then once you're finally getting better at this, when it slows down, it's easy. It's kind of like in practice. And like in a football practice, you try to emulate something to where it's so hard, the game seems easier. So what we're doing right now is we're practicing. And whenever, whenever we put Charlie on the camera, I'm, I get on the camera, but he knows I'm sitting right here in front of him. I mean, he's literally right there. I'm literally over the top of this man right here listening to him. But and he knows I'm listening. Good thing to say, other than being in a meeting, and she says, yeah, I talked to you, say, well, could I call you back this evening? Would you say that? Or would you say, can I? How about we meet mm -hmm. at my office? What would you say? What would have been that next step mm -hmm. if she'd have said, <coughs> other than if you weren't in a meeting, would you have time to talk? What would have been your next point of contact with her? Because we know emails are about a 1% return. We know well, we do it. know this. There's about a 12% chance of her even opening up his email. Right, right. Do you have his? Do you have her cell phone? Yes. I'd go ahead and send her a text and say, hey, good. thank you for your time. That's good. Hey, the chance of you, hey, this is a little sales nugget. If you send somebody a text, the probability of closing them goes up by like 350%. <laughs> Woo! Go ahead and send her a text. Hey, I'm high pressure, hey. unfortunately. But what would be but, our, what would be our question, though? Like, how would, what would we respond to her about trying to at least reach back to her? Would it well, be, is it okay if I call you when you get off of work? Well, that's a good, that's a good question, whether man. But here's my belief. If uh -huh. she finds a way to get you off the phone, she'll say whatever to get Hope y'all still hear somebody. Good, so. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't matter what she agrees. Oh, yeah, you call me anytime. I tell people, call me anytime, and then I know it's you, and I don't answer you. So that's what she's going to do. So here's a test. You send her a, te uh, a little text message. Ask her. Or just say, hey, appreciate your, uh, appreciate your time. Sorry I bothered you. I will be sending you X an email, and I'm going to be following up with you. Uh, Friday. I'll go ahead and let her know. Yeah, why, why I'm following up. Not? Well, do if you want to. Do if you want to. Delete, but hey, the, 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 it takes about 8 to 15 touches yeah, to, to, to close somebody. But too often, we're trying to close them. We've got to build a relationship. So what Charlie's got to do is this person, it's like, hey, we're like a damn shark. There's blood in the water. This Ooh. person, this person's interested in buying a house. Whether well, man, if I can say, has it down to a science. Hey, well, That's what least, my best friend said. Hey, at least they answered. We made communication. That's right. Because a lot of things and don't happen that way. That's why what Charlie's doing right now, it's about three out of 100 people actually are converted. That's right. That's three out of 100, but we, what we're telling uh, Charlie is it's like 30 out of 100. He don't know nobody. Don't know. So, I mean, don't we're, we're going to try to trick him and say, dude, you suck. You've only converted 15 of these, which is five times better than everybody else. But so much goes into what we think. What we think happens. Hey, let's do another one. All right. We got, you got another one? Charlie, he, all right, he, Charlie. He, before you do, hey, he types slow, so you just <laughs> before say. before we uh, call one more person, Charlie. Let's go over what we're going to say because well, here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to control the phone call, and the way you control it is you get on there and you say who you are. I'm sorry, I've caught you off guard. It's 3:30, and you're probably watching the Young and the Restless or or something. I apologize about catching you off guard. You recently. 
I always say this, the purpose of my call is this, so you're not sitting there wondering. You signed up on one of our sites looking for a home. That's all you gotta say, make it simple. You signed up on one of our sites looking for a home. Are you considering buying a home in the next 12 months? I and did, then, I you know, did, people. I did, I did, whenever I program those numbers in, I put their names in. So when they call back, you say, you know who it is. Well, hey, Jeff, hey, everybody that's getting on here, uh, you know, in case you're wondering, so what the hell am I do doing? In, I've got a new guy here, and, and this is the way back, we train. Hey, I, like, I walk in, and, and I have him start calling people. So if like, anybody wants a job, this is how I interview. This is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to get you on the phone, and I'm going to let you call people right here in front of me. That's the interview. Ooh. That's if you want to work here, that's what you're going to do. But if you'll come here, if you'll do what I say, I promise you, you're going to make a lot of money and you're going to get a lot better. Hey, Dwayne Campbell. Dwayne Campbell, I could take you over here. You could interview for a job. Tell him I said thank you. He, he did a blow test for me. Hey, the the blower door or blower yeah. test. Hey, hey, if anybody in new construction is needing a blower door, What's it called? A blower? A blow, a blow, te blow door test. A blow door hey, test. Hey, 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 hey. My guy, Dwayne Campbell, who just joined, he can hook you up. All right, Charlie, before you get on this call and get nervous, see, here's what he's doing right now. He's sitting there thinking about me. I he's thinking about all these people right now, and his mind is racing. You've got to get your mind prepared to these hey, situations. I'm going to get him. I'm going to smack him, so just hang on just a second. Come on, Charlie. All right, all right. He's ready. so He's hey, ready. we're going to control the call, okay? So how do we do it? We're going to do it in a few steps. What's the first thing you're going to do? Listen. Well, that's that's how we're going to overcome an objection. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to ask for that person. You've got their information. Uh, ask for the person. Yep. Then I you're am. well. Then you're going to say who you are. Then you're going to say, hey, I'm sorry for catching you off guard, right. but you signed up on our site looking for houses. Are you currently considering? buying a home in the next 12 months. Then people are going to say, well, why are you asking these yes, no questions? I don't care as long as I get them talking. If they say no, I'm going to say, could anything change? Could anything change to make you consider buying a home in the next 12 months? So what you got to do is you've got to find a way to be relaxed. If you could sit here and talk to people with your hat on sideways and kind of cut up with them, that's why the weatherman is so good, is he's very relaxed when he gets them on the phone. Charlie, what makes him good is he's got a very, very trusting uh, voice because he's a very trustworthy dude. So, hey, let's go through it one time. And, hey, you're doing good. You're playing along. You're, you're doing this. It sucks. This sucks. But this is how you get better. So what are you going to do? This is Charlie. Or ask for their name. I tried. I tried. Try. Tell them it's Charlie with John Jones Real Estate. Yep. Apologize for catching them off guard. I'm sure they weren't expecting me to give them a call today. But tell them the purpose of my call is they've recently been on one of our home search sites. I want to ask them if they will be purchasing a home in the next 12 months. There you go. There you go. Now, can we make this better? Maybe, but this is a numbers game. All we're trying to do is find one person that may be considering buying a home in the next 12 months. Did you text that girl? I already texted her. She responded? She has not yet. Okay. Well, we'll know if we got any potential. But, hey, we're going we're gonna, to uh, bombard her over the next few weeks to see if we've got a chance. So, remember, when you call these person, this next person, Charlie, don't worry that there's 37,000 people watching this right now don't worry that i'm here and weatherman's in your face because the purpose of this is for you to call you control once you get them talking remember we always listen acknowledge isolate and it's never about the product whenever we go to product we're losing it's Ooh, about I'm, the relationship i'm excited all right here we go. And you talk slow. See, I'm talking fast. I'm animated. Whenever you talk fast, have you ever noticed like when you're doing something you don't know, you start rushing, you start pressing? When you press, whenever you rush, your mind slows down. So what you should do is you should think slow. You should talk slow. Charlie, talk slow. We're from the South. Yeah, he's on there. He, he's, he's on there. He's probably nervous because I'm right here beside him. And we always leave voicemails. Always leave a voicemail. Hey, Mike. This is Charlie with John Jones Real Estate. Hey, I'm sure I'm probably catching you off guard by giving you a call. Uh, but the purpose of my call to you is you've recently been on one of our home search sites. I wanted to ask you if you think you may be looking at purchasing a home in the next 12 months. Perfect. 
Probably. Okay. Well, good. Well, uh, let me ask well, you, what, you, what type of uh, house do you think you'll be looking for, Mike? See, here's where we're totally off okay. script. He don't know what the hell to say here. <laughs> He's winging it. <laughs> He's winging this because I ain't told him this. Okay. So about a four bedroom, three bath. All right. Are you looking here in Murfreesboro? What would it take to meet you, Mike? Okay. Okay. Is there any reason why we can't meet? Okay. All right. We're about to get some, but we're fishing. Okay. Well, good. You know. Well, uh, let me ask you from time to time. Could I send you uh, some information? Oh. Stay in touch with you, Mike. Hey, would he be willing to interview okay. another agent? All right. Well, let me ask. You, would you be uh, willing to interview another agent, possibly? No. Okay. We All appreciate right. the loyalty. She's done well. Okay. Well, hey. All right. Well, hey. We we do appreciate the loyalty on that. So, good right. call. That's a good call right there. All right. Well, hey. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. Hey. All right. That's good. That's. I mean, that's real good. That's damn that's good. Damn good. That's damn good. So let me tell you, most agents, whenever they're doing that. Oh, you're working with another agent. I hung up. Charlie dug in a little bit on that person, and he said this. Would you be willing to interview another agent? And you can't be upset if somebody says no. Because Tom, the I, objective I would, of this I call is I'm trying to get that. a new guy comfortable to dealing with tension. The whole purpose of this so, is just a I stress know, test. He hasn't even actually county. started yeah, here yet. But we have we have written down. He knows exactly um, exactly right. what to do. And I do agree with you about the smile. And whenever I get out of here, we will be doing that. But here's the objective of this call is I want people here. Yes, uh, yes, he. Hey, yeah, oh yeah, he knows. Let's go. We, we got we another. Roll. Yeah, we we're about done with this time, love. Go, but yes, he does know it. Because I come in here about once or twice a week and do this, and he's gotten a lot better. This forces him to get better. People would know that he's only been doing this a short time. No, they wouldn't he's know. Doing really, really well. He is doing really well. That's a reverse psychology. How long have we been doing this? About four hours. Before hey, thank you, Tom. Love. Four hours, but it don't even feel like that long. Yeah, he's only made about 500 calls. No, my goal is to get him to make 1,000 phone calls a day. Mm, 1,000 phone calls, and then we can start expanding. But your mind, most people, most people, Tom, I've been, hey, I'm telling you what I've been doing. I've been using that EOS, and man, I feel invincible because of that EOS. That was a song. I went into a listing presentation last week. And uh, when you when you know why you do something, when you can do, when you can talk about what you believe, man, it's so powerful. Learning how to articulate your value and what you do, it that alone pretty much seals the deal. That's almost all you got to do to sell somebody. Yeah. This is one of our last things, and we're gonna hang up because I've been live all day. Hey, Jessica, day. this is Charlie with John Jones Real Estate. Was reaching out to you. You've recently been on one of our home search sites looking at homes. Was just seeing if there's anything we could possibly show you, anything we could help you with. Feel free to give us a call at 615 653 7397. I do appreciate it. You have a great day. Okay, you did good all the way up into uh, the. Uh, teal. You said, uh, see if there's anything we could help you with. She ain't going to call back. So what we want to know is we do have to do lunch, but, man, that was still good. You're, man, uh, from where you started, you've caught on to this stuff. You're very natural. So I text. Wouldn't you text her? I text her. Yeah, everybody, text. That whenever you text somebody after a call, your percentage goes up by over 300%. I text them and just say, hey. Hey. Just be looking you, for more of these sales. So the people that I hire, I'm going to walk in. I call these stress tests, and, uh, and it's very uncomfortable. Exactly and if you can't do these stress you tests, you can never. You're going to have a much harder get time a getting milk. through these right. stressful that situations. Way, so everybody, I appreciate you getting on here. If you have any questions, I'm going to send you to my site, Good Time Tommy, where I'm going to be putting more content out. If you're wanting to get better at your sales game, I want to help you do it. Have a great day, friends. Thank you for tuning in. And be on the lookout because if you're looking to get into real estate and you want to interview for a job, the way the interview is going to be is I'm going to sit here and we're going to go Facebook Live, and you're just going to sit there and call folks. And a lot of people are going to be scared to death to do it. If you're scared to death to do it, you're not going to be a fit. I'm looking for people that want to be a fit, by the way.